Look for fuel leaks around the fuel tank, fuel hose, and fuel valve. If there are any leaks, have them repaired before continuing operation. Look and listen for exhaust leaks while the engine is running. If there are any leaks, have them repaired before continuing operation. Check for dirt and debris and clean as necessary. Ensure the generator is on a level surface. Allow the engine to cool. Take out the oil filler cap and clean the dipstick. Check the oil level by reinserting the oil filler cap without rotating it. Remove the oil filler cap and examine the oil level. If the oil level is at or below the minimum oil level mark, refill the oil to the maximum oil level mark. Reinstall the oil filler cap and tighten securely. Check the fuel level by removing the fuel tank cap to visually check the level. Refuel if the level is too low. Add ethanol shield to the fuel tank as directed on the bottle. Replace the fuel tank cap and tighten securely. Loosen the knob and remove the air filter cover. Remove the foam filter and observe for cleanliness. If the foam filter is dirty, clean it with warm soapy water, rinse and allow it to dry thoroughly, or clean in a non-flammable solvent and allow it to dry. Dip the foam element in clean engine oil, then squeeze out all the excess oil. The engine will smoke when it is started if too much oil is left in the filter. Reinstall the foam filter, the air filter cover, and then reinstall and tighten the knob. Ensure the generator is on a level surface. Allow the engine to cool. Place a pan beside the generator. Remove the oil drain screw and allow the oil to completely drain into the pan. Refer to the user manual for how to properly dispose of your used oil. Reinstall the drain screw before filling the engine with fresh oil. Take out the oil filler cap. Use a funnel to fill the engine with oil. Refer to the user manual to see which oil to use. Reinstall the oil filler cap and tighten securely. Remove the ignition coil from the spark plug and remove the spark plug with the spark plug wrench provided. Inspect the spark plug and clean any dirt from the electrodes with a wire brush. If the electrodes are worn or show signs of wear, replace the spark plug. Measure the electrode gap with the spark plug gauge and adjust accordingly, ensuring the gap is between 0.7 and 0.9 millimeters. Reinsert the spark plug carefully. Tighten with the spark plug wrench. Be careful not to over tighten the spark plug. Tighten it half a turn when installing a new spark plug and tighten it a quarter turn when reinstalling an old spark plug. Reattach the ignition coil. Turn off the engine and let it cool. Remove the fuel cap and the debris screen underneath the fuel cap. Empty the fuel tank using a siphon in an approved gasoline container. Reinsert the debris screen and replace the fuel cap and tighten securely. Turn the fuel valve on. Position the container under the carburetor drain screw. 
loosen the drain screw. Allow the fuel to completely drain and re-tighten the drain screw. Disconnect the red cable from the positive battery terminal. Disconnect the black cable from the negative battery terminal. Remove the bracket. Place the nuts, bolts, and bracket in a safe place so you don't lose them. Store the battery upright in a dry, approximately room temperature environment on a scrap piece of wood or plastic shelf. Recharge it once a month. Always read your user manual and follow warnings to reduce the risk of personal injury.